Now we're going to install the jam cleat that will lock the pulley system and raise the pontoon and lower the pontoon from the, from the sitting position inside the kayak. The jam cleat should be approximately even or a little bit forward of your hip. And you want to make sure if you lash a paddle off as you would on this kayak to the side of the kayak, you want to make sure that you install this jam cleat a little below that area so it won't interfere with you lashing your paddle into position. Once you, once you select the location, just mark it with a red pen, drill three thirty-second holes, and install five-eighths pan head number eight screws at those locations. Now I'm going to mark the locations. Drill and drill three thirty second pilot holes and install number eight by five eight oval head screws at these locations. Be careful not to over tighten the screws and strip the uh, plastic on the kayak. Snug it up. Now it's time to install the pulley and the pad eye, which is part of the rope and pulley system. The pad eye is what the pulley slips on and actually holds the pulley on the kayak. So what we're going to do, you want to be a little bit below and a little behind the jam cleat. Use your pen, and again, you need to leave room for your rivets to expand because these are riveted into place. I'm going to mark. Now I'm going to drill 5 30 seconds holes for our smaller rivets at these locations. Now I'm going to install the rivets using my rivet gun. Make sure you don't forget to put the pulley on when you're doing this. There's one. There's two. Now it's time to thread the rope that will be used to lift the pontoons. The first step is to take the end of one of the ropes with a loop on the pulley on it, take the black hook from the pontoon arm and simply hook it anywhere on the loop. Then take the leading edge of the, of the line, run it through the forward pulley, Pull it through, then take it through the rear pulley, and then finally back through the jam cleat. It's as simple as that. Now add lift up on the rope to release it out of the jam cleat and place the rope in the lift bracket top back on the pontoon system. Now you're ready to lift the pontoons from the sitting position. Install the pull balls on the end of the rope which makes it easy for you to pull the ropes and lift the pontoons out of the water. There's a big hole on one side and a little hole on the other side. You want to thread in from the small hole, pull the slack through, and just kind of pinch it. Then take the rope out of the lift bracket and just tie a single overhand knot, just like you're tying your shoes when you're a little kid. And now we can then put the rope back in the lift bracket, and now go ahead and pull. When you're raising the pontoons, you want to pull straight ahead, and then when you want to release them, you lift up to release it out of the jam cleat. We've got a little too much slack in here, so I'm actually going to tighten up. I'm going to tighten up my knot a little bit here. Take it closer.
There we go. A little bit of slack is okay. And there you have it. Okay, the final step in the pontoon system is to cut the tag end using your utility knife. And then burn the end using a lighter or a match so it won't fray on you. Well, that completes the installation. I hope it helps you with your installation or if you're thinking about purchasing our wonderful product. For more information or any questions, feel free to visit our website at www.standandfish.com.